Collision on 99.9 Boys FM. On the phone right now, I've actually got Den Murray. Hi, Den. Hi, Kat. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Yeah, good, thank you. And so, well, we, of course, spoken in the past, but at the moment, you're actually putting, because you are a drummer, let's face it, let's tell yes. people, you are Den Murray Drummer on Facebook. Yes. And you're organising a gig at Cherry Bar, which is on the 24th of October, called Rock for Regal, and it's a charity gig. Yeah, that's correct. Um, I got a mate from school called Adam Regal, who um, about uh, probably about 10 years ago, um, Adam lost an uncle to uh, motor neurone disease. Mm-hmm. And then um, in 2011, Adam's father was actually diagnosed and then sadly went downhill fast and passed away just over 12 months after being diagnosed. Mm. And then 12 months after he lost his father, Adam has actually been diagnosed with motor neurone disease and um, he's a close mate of mine and it's it's a disease that um, targets the nerves in the brain and spinal cord and just starts slowly shutting down. Uh, the muscles that allow you to move, speak, breathe, swallow, and it's usually a two to three year life expectancy after you've been diagnosed, and there's no known cure yet. So I'm doing whatever I can to raise money for research to try and try and find a cure and stop this disease. And the best way I know how is to is rock and roll. So yeah, that, that's the, that's why I'm putting on this show. Can I just ask, does this actually, is this something that runs in families or is it something that can hit anyone? Or Yeah, it's a, it's a disease that um, doesn't discriminate against anyone. It'll target the rich, the poor, any any nationality. It gets everyone. It, do, it does run in the family as well, mm. um, but it can, anyone can get it at any time. It's young, old. It, it doesn't matter who you are. Mm. No one's safe. No, it's no good. And this is actually, you have run another Rock for Regal up in New South Wales. Yeah, I've run a couple now, um, back from the hometown where myself and Adam are from in Kiama, in the south coast of New South Wales. Um, We both got together and uh, put on the first show and we raised about $3,000. And then uh, towards the start of this year, um, we put on another show and raised over five thousand dollars the second time so we're hoping to at least match that if not beat it at the melbourne show um Mm. yeah and that as we said oh as i said earlier that's saturday the 24th not this weekend but next weekend weekend yep correct and it's 13 dollars to get in and all of that money is going to the mnd research isn't it yeah it goes straight towards um the macquarie university research team um, I'm pretty sure some of the people from the MND um, research team will be showing up on the night. They've come to the last two that I've put on. Um, professors turned up there and one of them came up to me and was thanking me so much for putting it on and said even just $100 goes so far. You wouldn't believe how far $100 can go with the research. So every single cent counts. So as, as much as we can get through the door, would be great, but also from door sales, we're also doing a bit of raffles, a bit of auctioning of some um, uh, merchandise that um, the handsome Rory has gotten for me. Mm-hmm. Um, and we've got um, shirts that Shardy from Elusive has made up as well that we'll be selling on the night, and that, that money will be going towards the research centre as well. Yeah. And um, what sort of merch is it that Rory's gotten hold of? Uh, so far, he's telling me he's giving it to me in dribs and drabs at the moment. So, it's um, like, is it from different bands and that around Melbourne? Uh, no, it's, it's actually, um, we've got, he currently dropped off just tonight, actually. It's a, um, a replica of the NRL um, Grand Final Trophy that the Melbourne Storm won. And it's got a, it's framed and got pictures of the Grand Final that they won. I've got a um, signed jersey from... Melbourne Victory, signed jersey from um, Melbourne Football Club, uh, a bunch of AFL balls. Um, so it's a, it's a bit of a bit of everything. I've got um, some prints done by a tattoo artist called Jai Weston. Um, he's donated some prints as well, and hopefully we'll have a tattoo artist 
on the night auctioning off a couple of hours um, for a free sit in the chair. So Yeah, so there really is something for everything, you know. Yeah. Sounds like you've got a bit of sports memorabilia and stuff there. Yeah, we thought Melbourne's a bit of a sports town, so hopefully... Hopefully we can raise some money through that side of him. Just a little bit. <laughs> and on the night, of course, you do have Blind Monkey headlining the gig. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, sorry, go on. Yeah, um, I, I've i only recently come across Blind Monkey and I've only seen what they've done through online presence at the moment. So I've only been watching videos and listening to their stuff, but I can't wait to see them. They look like they're going to put on a very good show. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. And then, like, just before Blind Monkey, Dean at Williams' new band will be playing, and you're actually going to be playing drums in it that night. Yeah, I'm lucky enough to be playing with Dean and his band. Um, yeah, I was, have had a couple of jams with them now, and it's so much fun. The songs are fat and tasty and hard-rocking, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to that set. Yeah, and then, of course, you got 10,000 on before that. Yep. Yep, 10,000, uh, one of the uh, premier Melbourne bands going around at the moment, I think. Um, I'm doing a lot, and they've just got a new album out, I'm pretty sure, and a uh, new film clip out, so mm. they always they always put on a good show. Elusive, you mentioned Shardy's made up some shirts for the night. We actually, I actually played their band a little bit earlier in the night, but they're going to be there on Saturday the 24th. Yeah, can't wait to see Shardy again. She's always... Always a good, good show on stage. We actually, actually played in a band with one of uh, one of Lucy's first shows, and yeah, I couldn't believe it. It was very, very good. Awesome. And Crash Tragic and Eat the Damn Orange are opening the night. Yeah, uh, Crash Tragic's actually from the same town that me and Adam are from. The bass player is actually Adam's brother-in-law, and right. they tour to Melbourne a fair bit. And they're, they're, they're a really good band as well. And Eat the Damn Orange, this will be their first show. And they're kind of very vague of what they are at the moment. It's a lot of um, citrus-based humour, I'm told. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing them too. All right. Well, citrus always goes well with some vodka. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it does, and gin, yeah. <laughs> and that's actually kicking off at 6 p.m. in the evening. Yeah, correct. 6 p.m. on Saturday the 24th. Next so, week. That leaves plenty of time for an after party. It does, it does. I'm pretty sure the cherry will stay open till 5 a.m. So. Well, they do every night, so... Yeah, so there'll be people stumbling out at all hours. Yeah, it sounds like a really good night. <laughs> yes, yeah, can't <laughs> wait for it. So it's, it, it's, it's for a sad cause, but also um, a happy cause. Um, Adam, Adam's actually coming down for the show um, from Kayama, so he'll be there on the night, so people will be able to... Uh, meet him and ask him any questions if they want to know anything about motor neurone disease and um, his story. Um, and it, it's kind of a way to show him that he's not alone in his fight. Um, there's all these people around him that are willing to donate their time by playing a show or people turning up on the night and donating money. So, hmm. Well, that's yeah. what I was going to say. It's $13 at the door, but you most welcome to pay more if you wish to because it's all going to MND Research. Yeah, exactly right, exactly right. Mm. And as you mentioned, you've got plenty of merch and uh, memorabilia and stuff that's going to be auctioned off and tattoos yeah. and art and all sorts yeah. of stuff. Yeah. It's going to be a really awesome night and you're pretty awesome for putting it on. I'm sure that Thank this you. is making a big difference to Adam to keep him going too and keep him healthy longer. Yeah, he's... he's um Total inspiration to me how how well he's handled this whole thing. He's got a wife and two very young kids, and just the way that he's dealt with this whole thing, it's just it's inspiring to me. And I just felt like I had to do something. Like I'm not a rich person myself, so I could I I can always donate myself like money myself, but I was like, it's not enough. I need to do something else to to try and get this, try and help get a cure. Yeah. Yeah, no, well, good luck with it. I, Thank you. I really hope, actually, that they can find something, you know, before it's too late for Adam. Yeah, me too. Yeah, and it is it is brilliant what you're doing, and people should look, if, if they're not on my Facebook or the Collision Facebook page, look for Rock for Regal, 
at Cherry Bar, and it's the number four if you're searching that event out. And you can probably find out more about it too if you go to Den Murray Drummer on Facebook or Den Plays Drums. Yes, that's They can it. give you a like too because you're a pretty awesome drummer. Oh, thank you, Kat. <laughs> I try. And you will, of course, be playing with Dean Williams' second last band just before Blind Monkey. Yes, correct. Yeah, can't wait for that. Actually, I guess if you're going to be the meat and a sandwich between Blind Monkey and 10,000, you're doing pretty well. Yeah, I know it's a, it's a pretty stellar lineup to be a part of. So it's yeah, pretty, pretty chuffed. And I I did say to you before we came on air, I should have saved the elusive track to play in this set, but I didn't. That's but, right. I I heard it anyway. So yeah, yeah. And I I love that track though. It's a very cool track. What I forgot to mention is actually the first week in November, elusive are going to be live in the studio of Collision. Oh, nice. Maybe seeing as you play drums for them once, they can bring you with them. With them. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, sh- I actually didn't play drums with them. My, my band played. With oh, them. right. Yeah. Your band played with their band. Yeah, yeah. No, I didn't. I wasn't oh. that lucky. <laughs> I thought you meant you'd sort of like, for, their, for one of their first gigs, you'd played with them. Oh, well. No, no. Shows what I know. <laughs> I, I will post the link for the event again on my Facebook page. Thank you so much, Dan. No, thank you very much. We're going to hear some tracks from Blind Monkey 10,000 and Dean Williams. Uh, really good luck on the night. I hope it goes really well, and I hope you actually raise a lot more than you're hoping to. Yeah, great. Thank you very much, Kat. Thanks a lot. This is Blind Monkey and their last, or latest single, Tiny Maggot. <laughs> 